So we've got a glass of wine, a little John Legend playing in the background when you sit down to spend some quality time with your sleek little MacBook Air when suddenly it starts making this awful raspy sound like it's struggling for air. What a mood killer! Nothing ruins the moment more than a noisy fan. Whether you've got something stuck in there or it's just plain broken, you can get in there yourself and fix it without much hassle. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the fan in an original MacBook Air. This video is a great overview of the process, but of course, as always, you're going to want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the repair guide on our site when you're replacing your fan. As far as parts and tools go, you're not going to need a whole lot. All you'll need is a Phillips 00 screwdriver and, of course, your replacement fan. That all being said, we can get started by flipping the computer over and removing the lower case that's held in place by these screws. With all of those screws out, I can take off the bottom case. You're just going to lift it from the rear of the computer and rotate it towards the front. And now that we're inside, you can see all of the innards of the MacBook Air. And obviously, it is almost entirely battery. The battery is held in place by just a few screws and one cable. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of those now. With that last screw out, the battery should just lift right out, giving me access to all the cables that are holding the hard drive in place. So I'll go ahead and disconnect those now. There are four screws holding the hard drive in place, and one of them is covered up by this microphone cable. So I'm going to have to deroute it before I can get access to that screw. You want to be gentle with it though because it's a fragile cable. You don't want to go ripping it off. And once it's derouted, I'm going to go ahead and remove the four screws that are holding the hard drive in place. With that screw out, the hard drive should come right out and we can move on to the heat sink and the fan which is held in place by a few more Phillips screws. There's one screw hidden underneath this little cosmetic cover so you're just going to want to use your tip of your spudger to kind of push that aside to get access to that screw. And the fan and heat sink should come out as one big piece. Now, if the fan you purchased came with the heat sink attached, you're all done. But if the fan you purchased came solo, you are going to have to transfer this heat sink over to your new fan. And that's pretty easy. They're just held together by these four Phillips screws right here. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Air repair guide on our site. For all the latest teardowns and repair videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.